Well, hi there, it's Sandy, and I've got an epic layered scene card for you today using some brand new stamps from the new release from Purple Onion Designs. They make red rubber stamps you may know about, and two of the ones that I'm super excited about are the buildings. These are little strip mall type things, little city scenes, and the clear block under there is four by six, and four by six is the full size of these, so they're big. They'll take up a full card and you can do bigger cards than that. You can do slimline cards with two of them on there. That's what I'm going to do because I wanted to put both of them on here. And when you line them up on your MISTI, if you're going to try to make sure that the buildings are straight on your paper, then you're going to want to make sure the verticals of the buildings are vertical because everything else is at a proportional angle. So this has a lot of perspective in it. I'm stamping mine on big paper because I'm going to trim them down and I'm going to do something really crazy and weird and epic with it. And yeah, I, I just brace yourself because this is more work than I usually do for a card. <laughs> but this is one of the two little animal stamps that I got in this release. Michelle always asks if I want some of them and I pick two of them that have a grouping of critters. So here's one of them that has the snowman and his two little friends. I will have another one over on my blog with the other one. It's a little choir set. And there are other animals in the release that go with these city scenes because they are part of the cityscape. They're, they're sized and they're carrying packages like they're walking around in the city. I don't have any of that. So I had to figure out what I was going to do. But my big idea for this release and for these buildings was to do them as layers. And so I colored one layer in the background that has the background color in the windows and then a layer with just the portions that are in the windows. And then the top layer has just the outside building parts with some uh, acetate on the inside of it. So it looks like little glass windows. And then I popped the snow even higher. So I've got like four different layers on this building. And I had to keep coloring it and cutting it down. And it was the fussy cutting thing from from your dreams. And for some of you, it might be your nightmares. But I love fussy cutting, so it worked really well. And on the other side, I'll do the same thing. I've got the background color that's the inside of the buildings. And then the part of the buildings that's in the windows, cutting out the parts in between so that you can see through to the background color. And then the front of the building with the acetate on it so that you can see through each one of the windows into the building and snow on the roof. And this one has the snow on the front roof a little higher, popped higher than the snow on the back roof. So I get even more dimension. Yeah, I know I got a little crazy with it. And then I cut out the shutters and yeah, I could have cut out a lot more parts and I realized that was just going to be too much. So I stopped at some point. And then I had to trim everything down and I fit it onto a slimline card. And that was, that was an epic thing to try to figure out and, and stick on. But I wanted to put my little snowman scene on here and it just looked weird to plop it in the middle of the scene because it didn't fit proportionally. So I created a foreground for myself by popping in the very front a little bit of snow. So it looks like you're looking at the snow scene and then the city is in the background behind the little snowman and his two little buddies. So that kind of worked for me, even though I don't have the little city shoppers, which I need to get now because they go with the buildings. <laughs> so make sure you pick up some of the city shoppers if you decide you need to do something like this. And of course, you can color it with just flat stamps. You don't have to go as crazy as I have done because I went a little bonkers with it. Of course, I had to add some snow because it's a winter card, which requires snow for me because that is that is my life during this time of year. So I added lots of snow in front of all the buildings. And I did find out you could put snow in front of the acetate so I could draw right on the acetate windows as well. And then I added some of this Nouveau glitter stuff that I just got. And thank you for those who gave me the advice to get that instead of using loose glitter along with glossy accents because this works way much better. And what I found with it was that I could put a little line of it down and then use a piece of cardboard or cardstock to spread it almost like frosting, but I didn't spread it really evenly because it looked more realistic actually if it was only glistening on parts of it and not 
a complete even coat of it. And it didn't flick off. It was quite nice. And I do like the size of the bottle as well. So if you have arthritic hands, this, these are nice bottles rather than the, like, the little stickles ones can sometimes be hard. So there you can see all of the gorgeous shimmer and layers and the acetate and everything. Oh my goodness, this was so much fun. But I think I really do need to get the little, little shoppers to go with it so I can have shoppers in a scene in the future because this is so much, so much fun coloring all these little buildings. I'm, I'm like a sketcher, an urban sketcher, so buildings have a special appeal for me. I originally thought this would be really cool as a an advent calendar with all these little windows opening and doors opening. So that might be another project coming. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to do that or not. But the luscious details in here just made me just tickled pink. So I wanted to also let you know that on Sunday, the 1st of November, the 24 Tags of Christmas starts. So if you're one who has been here every year for that big giveaway... During the whole week, I'll have six videos in a row, so stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel so you can enter, and you'll be entering both on YouTube and on the blog, so subscribe over at the blog, too. And I will see you guys later. Take care and have a great weekend. I will see you on Sunday with another video.